This Sunday is, of course, getting deeper into the green season, that season after the Sunday of, of Pentecost. But it's also Father's Day, and that's something that here at St. John's we always like to acknowledge those kinds of uh, contextual elements that are very much in the minds of uh, folks as we move about our society. Always trying to unite the liturgical calendar with sort of our more temporal calendar and the things that are uh, in front of us just as we go through our day-to-day -day lives. And as so often happens, uh, the themes of the two are really very complementary. So we think about the presence of fathers and culturally what we think of fathers doing as sort of being uh, a caregiver in a particular way as, as opposed to the caregiver role that we have associated with mothers. So that fathers have a kind of a more expansive rather than more personal touch in that, in that nurturing and care. And in the readings uh, that are appointed for this Sunday, we see that sort of kind of universal global care uh, as, we, as we relate that to God. And so in the first reading, a, a passage from Job, this very poetical book from the First Testament, uh, we, we hear about God's expression of God's uh, care for us through nature and through the natural order. And in the gospel, uh, as Jesus and his disciples are crossing the Sea of Galilee and a storm comes up and Jesus is somehow able to sleep through this while all of the disciples are terrified, they finally wake him up and he stills the sea. So we can see um, God working through nature and among nature uh, as part of the care that, that God shows us. So we'll be starting off the, the Sunday uh, with one of the most beloved hymns, 410, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, that starts with that great third verse, Father-like, He tends and spares us. Well, our feeble frame He knows. And with that really majestic tune by uh, John Goss. The two anthems will focus a little bit more on the nature side rather than on the father-like side. At the offertory, the choir will sing John Rutter's setting of the very familiar text, All Things Bright and Beautiful. This was one of the first pieces that really popularized John Rutter in this country and has really endeared him, this melody has really endeared him to a lot of music lovers everywhere. At the communion, the choir, or at least the men of the choir, will be singing uh, a very gentle and comforting tune that uses texts from a variety of, of sources, uh, uses the refrain uh, that comes from the beginning of Gerard Manley Hopkins' poem, The World is Charged with the Grandeur of God. And then it has some verses that are drawn from Psalm 103, but then also incorporate just a snippet of the hymn, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. It's written for two tenors and, bar and bass, and it has a, a nice rich sound in that uh, register. This was written by um, actually a, a guy that I know, Alaric Lewis. Um, you may know that I've spent some time at St. Minerid, a Benedictine Arch Abbey in Southern Indiana. Spent quite a lot of time there. And at the time that uh, Alaric wrote this, he was one of the monks there. He has since left the Roman church and has now been received into the Church of England and is uh, working as a rector of a parish um, in the Norwich area. Um, but he was a, a real good friend and we spent a lot of time together when I was uh, visiting St. Minerid. 
and uh, was uh, with him during the time that he wrote this, and so I've always had a real fondness for this. So we have a lot of great music about fatherhood, about nature, and a lot of ways for us to uh, really think about how those two themes intertwine and, and have kind of a uh, symbiotic nature. So we hope that you will join us as part of your Father's Day celebration this weekend and worship with us here at St. John's. <laughs> 